this is Lauren from DZ Cottage Designs and I'm here with a quick tutorial for you on the blanket that you see on your screen. Um, so I'm going to show a few pictures and then I'm also going to show you the blanket right here in front of me. This blanket is so soft and it's made with a fleece yarn. I will post all the information in the comments, but I just want to show you. So I use this um, reddish color, a white. It's like a grayish. It looks really gray on camera, but it's a little bit gray tan. And then this turquoise color, of course, the turquoise. And it is so soft and the drape, when you use a huge hook with it, is so nice. And I want to go ahead and walk you through the stitch really quickly. It's really easy and it works up. I made a blanket. Now it's a small blanket, but I made a blanket in just a couple of hours. Now what you see in front of you is a row of single crochet. So if you want to learn how to make this stitch with me, what you're going to do is you are going to chain 12 and then single crochet and the second chain in each stitch across. So you'll end up with 11 single crochet stitches. So once you have your 11 single crochet stitches in a row, um, go ahead and come back and I will teach you the stitch. All right, so the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to chain one and turn our work. And I know this is a little bit different than what you usually do when you're working with double crochets, but we're working with a huge hook, we're working with thick yarn, so this is what I did when I made my blanket. We're going to chain one and double crochet in the very first stitch. So go ahead and work your double crochet there. And then you are going to skip one stitch and then we're going to work into this stitch. So skip the very next stitch and work into the one after that. And we are going to work a double crochet Move this out of the way. And then we are going to chain one. And then we are going to double crochet again. So we're making a V stitch. Now this isn't just a normal V stitch blanket, but we are going to be making V stitches on every other row. So now we're going to skip two stitches and we are going to make a V stitch in this stitch. So skip one, skip two, and then V stitch in this one. So double crochet, chain one, and then double crochet again. And then we're gonna skip two stitches again, and we're gonna make a V stitch in this one. So double crochet, chain one, and double crochet in the same stitch again. And then we are going to double crochet in the very last stitch. So we're going to skip one, double crochet in that last stitch. So that is our V stitch row. So we've got a row of single crochets and then a V stitch row. Now we're going to chain one and turn our work again. And we're going to work a double crochet in that very first stitch. So do a double crochet. And then we're going to work into this V stitch. So we're not working into the tops of the stitches. We're just going to insert our hook right there. So we're going to work three double crochets into this stitch. So we've got one, two, three. And then we're not going to do anything until we get to this chain space, this middle of the V over here. So we're going to work three double crochet into that stitch. One, two, and three. Then we're going to skip over here to this space right here in the V. And we're going to work three double crochet there. One, two, and three. It is a beautiful day here and I can hear my kids playing outside. I'm not sure if it's going to pick that up in the video. And then we are going to double crochet in the last stitch. We're not working into the chain one. At the end of each row, we're just going to work into the real stitches. So now work a double crochet into that last stitch. So that right there, gave us a row of double crochets in the V stitches. And now we're going to chain one and turn our work again. 
And now you're going to double crochet in this first stitch. And then you can see we have these groups of three stitches. So we have a group of three stitches here, a group of three stitches here, and a group of three stitches here. We're going to work into the middle stitch of each row. So we are going to double crochet, chain one, double crochet to make a V stitch in the middle stitch of each of these clusters. So we are going to skip one double crochet the first time and we're going to do a double crochet, a chain one, and a double crochet. Then we're going to skip two stitches and we're going to work into this middle stitch right here. And we're going to work a double crochet, a chain one, and a double crochet. We're going to skip these two stitches and work into this middle stitch right here. We're going to work a double crochet, a chain one, and a double crochet. And then at the end of the row, we're going to skip one stitch and work a double crochet into this last stitch. So just work a double crochet into that last stitch. All right, so now we've got our, I'll show you what we have. We have our single crochet row. We have our V-stitch row, our double crochets in groups of threes row, and then our V-stitch row. So now chain one and turn your work. We'll work one more row together. So we're going to double crochet in that first stitch. We're going to work three double crochets into the middle of this V stitch. So one, two, and three. Oops, and three. Then we're going to skip over to this next V stitch and work into the middle, three double crochets. So one, two, and three. And then we're going to skip to this one and work one, two, and three. And then we're going to work into this very last stitch here. And there it is really quick project. So I know you're going to like it. So I hope you have a good time with this stitch and with this yarn and you enjoy the blanket pattern. I'm going to link to everything down below. Um, I forgot to tell you what size hook I'm using. I am using a PQ 15 millimeter hook. It's a clover hook. And um, I think the yarn probably calls for a smaller hook, but what you're going to get when you use a huge hook is just a really nice drapey movable fabric. So um, that's all for today. I hope you have a great day and happy crocheting.